Welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. My name is Ryan, and today we're opening some more Pokemon cards. We are featuring today Paradox Rift on the weekly Wednesday video. We're featuring the two exclusive ETBs from Pokemon Center, which each have a couple extra booster packs in them, and feature either Iron Valiant or Roaring Moon. Now, I know that's just Salamence and what looks like Gallade, but um, I guess it's an ancient and future version of both of those. In addition to those ETBs, we're going to be opening one booster bundle that has six booster packs inside of it. We're going to be opening two of these three-pack blister packs, one which is an error, and they're all packed upside down except for the promo card. And then I have right here eight, well, four in this image right here. But we're going to have a total of eight of these booster packs to open, sleeved, that features two of each um, artwork on them. So we have Gallade right there, or Iron Valiant, whatever you want to say, Guardchomp, Salamence, and Armor Rouge. So without further ado, let's jump into opening some Pokemon cards. Check it out. Welcome back, everybody. It's another day of ripping Pokemon cards in the commissioner's office. Today, we have more Paradox Rift. This came out November 3rd, and these arrived on November 3rd. Pokemon Center's exclusive Elite Trainer boxes, uh, one with Roaring Moon. I think I said Screaming Moon on the intro. Um, Roaring Moon, I was thinking of Screamtail and Iron Bundle. Screamtail comes in the uh, Roaring Moon ETB, and it looks like Iron Bundle comes in the Iron Valiant version. Each one has its own unique set of spacers. Um, sleeves, dice are different, markers are lame, and then 11 booster packs as opposed to 9 which come in modern day Scarlet and Violet uh, ETBs. We have 8 loose sleeved booster packs each uh, featuring two of each Pokemon art, uh, Salamence or Roaring Moon, Armor Rouge, Garchomp, and Iron Valiant or Gallade or whoever that is. We got one booster bundle featuring six booster packs inside of there. And then we have two of these three pack blisters, which I think Arctabax and Sedaton are um, the only two. I don't think there's a third one, but the unique thing about this one is they're upside down for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, got these at Beckett Castle TCG. Um, Beckett TCG Castle in uh, Racine, Wisconsin. Lovely place. Great deal on all this product. Uh, the only thing I didn't get from there was the ETBs from Pokemon Center. But without further ado, let's just start ripping open some of these packs. Um, we'll start with we'll start with Roaring Moon. Um, I think the Iron Valiant, it's just the colors for me. I'm not really big on this pastel color though. Um, I think, I don't know, just doesn't, doesn't fit my, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't even know. Je ne sais quoi. Let's see what this kind of looks like. Oh, nice. You got the, that's funny. You got the Iron Valiant right there. Um, I'm not going to go through all this, but you got this nice little booklet here. There you go. Nice, cool little Salamence. Uh, Salamence, however, is has a very cool um, color pattern to that Pokemon specifically. Um, just packaging spacers here. Um, so let's just start from here. So we get, oh yeah, I forgot about this. The Pokemon Center exclusive uh, stamp on these. So you got the Screamtail right there. That's pretty cool. In good condition. In its plastic. I am not going to take it out. Um, I'm going to set that aside though because a lot of these sleeved ones, you guys can have that uh, code card. Oh, geez, already messed with the camera. And then you have the one here without the Pokemon Center uh, stamp on it. The Salamence or Roaring Moon sleeves. Nice. Gosh, I keep knocking everything around. There we go. Uh, energies, which who cares about those? Got the spacers. Um, there's all the die, dice, whatever you want to call it. I'm not even going to follow out the, the condition markers because, I mean, who cares? Those are such garbage. I don't know. I feel like they should all have metal in them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven booster packs out of these. So fantastic. Um, took that off camera. Forgot it was in my hand. But we're just gonna start going through it. Again, don't need to do the any kind of card trick on these, which is fantastic. That's the best thing about um, Scarlet and Violet. Blip Hug, Fleekoko, Durant, Kevin Durant, Earth and Vessel, Medical Energy, Flittle, Porygon 2, and starting it off with a Garchomp EX very cool these ex are so much better than the pokemon v cards that we got out of um sword and shield i think they are just such better quality they are in a league of their own tom hanks movie uh but there we go started off pretty good already garchomp ex which is a water pokemon not dragon so that's also pretty cool so i guess those are considered delta species i don't know if it says it on the card i should definitely explore that um, that's not something that I have looked at yet. 
um, Lipard, Wimpod, Steeny, Glyscore, Absol. I love that artwork on that one. Steelix and an Iron Moth future card. No holographic energies in this set. That was just Pokemon 151 that was polluting <laughs> the holographic energies for everybody, which everybody, I, I like those. I mean, everybody wants to have a pretty deck. I say that all the time. On to pack three. We got, what is it? Almost almost the whole booster box of cards in this. I'll have to add it up. To each ETB is 11, so that's 22. And then we have six in the blister packs. That's 28. And then, no, that, wait, right? 22, 28, plus eight. Yeah, it is 36. We're doing an entire booster box worth of cards, so that's pretty cool. Ting Lu, um, all reverse hollows there. There's the cued card got to beat people to get those i know that there are some people that maybe i'm garnering um views from that are strictly watching to get those code cards on to pack four let's go ella kid trubbish bunch of rubbish tinka tough looking gruff simisage norman fourth worm crocolore flittle and get out of here another guard champ oh galissapod ex very cool so there is a difference in those by the way so this guard champ yeah i don't know why that is maybe guard champ is a little bit more rare to get than the galissapod but i think this is the second galissapod but two water ex pokemon right off the bat um very cool and then there was the cued cured Cued here. I gotta start building this binder too because it literally in these three videos I think it's 114 booster packs total that I've opened probably the most I've ever opened on an opening weekend of a new set Very cool. Not to pump kaboo right after Halloween Remoraid, Zubat, Simisage, Norman, Orthworm, Toad's Cool, Tandemouse, Chin Yu, a Chin, a Chin, a Chin Yu No Chin Yu No Chin Yu All right Iron Valiant, next booster pack design to open. We got a bunch today though, I'm excited about this. I love opening Pokemon cards. This new set, I'm really digging it. Screamtail, Ancient, Technical Machine, De-Evolution, Porygon Z, Galvantula, and Zashin, Reverse Holographic. Uh, but this, this set's pretty good. I think the thing to take away from this set more than anything is all the different cards, variations, Ancient and Future. Um, I saw some of these cards that were just like, you know, you, you know, just with Pokemon TCG uh, live, like a lot of the cards you're getting from the ladder are like energy, superior energy retrievals. What? Oh, medical energy was a reverse hollow. Um, a lot of cards that looks like you can just retrieve a lot of energy and then a lot of trainers that you can um, just add a lot of energy to your Pokemon. So like, um, what's... Generator, electrical generator, I think is what it is called. Um, but it looks like there's a couple Pokemon. Uh, this Roaring Moon, the uh, Dark Patches too, where you'd want to add dark energy to it um, and get those back. Mela, Slitherwing, Elekid, let's go. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Got me the Gimme Ghoul to go with the Goldango in the back. And then a Militich Reverse Hollow. So definitely pulling some of the big cards uh, out of this set. Gotten very lucky very cool to pull this and this one's like perfect wow that that is that is a 10 just on the front that is a great card but look at this i'll show you i will pull the yeah so i got the goldango it's it's ghoul gold golden go or goldango but yeah you position it like that it goes together it's pretty cool I've heard people say Golden Go, but I say Goldango. I like Goldango. Very cool. So that's very good compliment to go with that one. Great pull. Amazing pull. So that's out of the first ETB. Um, got one of the best special illustration rares. If I could get this into the sleeve. Oh my gosh. Never struggled that hard. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Look at those two crossed arms. They know how cool they are. Macaroni and cheese, man spaghetti guy definitely did not know he was a stack of coins i didn't know gibble blitzel i have not evolved the gimme ghoul in my uh pokemon scarlet and violet uh, i took a step away from that for too long need to get back into it would love to get back into it down to the last two packs of the first etb which again they have 11 
booster packs inside of them, not nine, like other current Scarlet and Violet ETBs. Gorgeist, Tetsugiri, Vanillix, Hon Honedge, Magby, and a Kingdra Reverse Holographic. I really, I, I need to start pulling the energy out first, maybe. That'll be less annoying. On to the very last booster pack of the first ETB. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One more big pull would be great. Ipom, Pansage, Mantike, Gorgeist, Tetsugiri again, Vanillix, in the same order, essentially. Nice, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. I think these ener are these uh, trainers look fantastic. I think they look really good. Uh, but then, you know what? Let's take a break from that one. Let's go to one of the three-pack blisters. So we're going to do the Artabax one. Um, just start with that one. Let's see what we get out of here. Yeah. I hate when you open these. Sometimes you don't even get, you don't even get that little slice right there. So it's like you're kind of trying to push on the back, but you don't want to damage the cards, obviously, you know. Um, and then these promos, I, I sleeve them, but I mean, I don't really do anything with them. There you go. Have fun. Um, where's he at? Arctabax right there. Very cool. I do like the edges. Um, all the pattern that goes on there looks on the edge. It looks great. Yeah, it's just a bunch of little bubbles, but it still looks good. It's just something extra. Get rid of that. All right, one. We're what are we missing here? Armor Rouge. That's the only pack art we're missing. That would be great if they actually sold them in four pack blisters. You know, that would make more sense. So then you can get one of each. Looks like there is something back here. Porygon, Cedra, Magby, Technical Machine, Blindside. Got plenty of those. Michael Orr, Technical Machine, Evolution, Rika, Flea Cuckoo, and a. Mewtwo EX. Again, this one looks like higher quality than that Galissapod. Whoa, look at <laughs> Whoa, look how gray that is. It's not even black. That's gray. Very cool, though, to get the Mewtwo. I will take that. That's definitely one that I wanted. It's, of course, not a electric Pokemon. It's a Psychic, so I am, I, again, I'm just going to assume that these are Delta Species Pokemon. Um, and I will, it, it, it's weird that he's electric, but it costs Psychic Energy to use attacks. Okay. Decent, decent triple blister so far. Starting off with a, a reasonable pull. Larry! Yamask, yeah, Surskit, Wismer. I'm doing that from Impractical Jokers. My girlfriend loves that show. And they go, Larry! At the beginning, Norman. And an Iron Jugulus. Jugulus. I don't... Another gray one. So that's weird. That's really weird. I wonder what that's about. But that's... So do we have two error blister packs then? Because the other one, everything was packaged upside down, which is very odd. This one felt a little open. That was weird. Let's see here. Dublade, Miltank, Wimpod, Plusle, Medical Energy, Iron Bundle, Gliscor, Mindfu, Hone Edge, Sweet, Agislash, Full Art, EX, and another gray code card for some reason. So that was a really good triple blister. One EX and one Full Art, Agislash. I love this, like, Sherbert, Sherbet, Sherbert, whatever you want to call it, kind of color in the background. That kind of pink and red and blood orange kind of meld together. It's very cool. Sweet. That was a good blister pack, though. I'm happy with that one. Um, let's go to the other ETB now, which would be Iron Valiant. But that's Gallade, right? Yeah, that's definitely Gallade. I think Gallade... Um, it's kind of confusing with... Oh, my God, and I can't think of what it is right now. Oh, my God, why can't I think of the Pokemon? Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. We don't need to go through that other booklet though, right? I mean, you guys you guys get the gist. Pretty sure they're the same. Um, but this one, there's the cute card. There's the Iron Valiant uh, sleeves. I wish it was like green or gold or something. Like the, the silver's all right, but the gold's even better. There's the regular Iron Bundle. No Pokemon center stamp on that one. They separate it. There you go, right there. Those Squirtles that came with the UPCs, the Mew UPCs of 151, I sold one of those for 50 because, I mean, that's a going rate. I, I, I go with what the market is. Sometimes I will accept, like, 48 bucks, but, you know, I'm not going to just pass on something like that to somebody for cheap. But then, like, next week I checked, it was, like, $100. So people are going crazy about that one. I still got two more, so that's pretty cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's see if this ETV will do any better than Roaring Moon. But again, so what? So let me let me do the math really quick. Again, so it's 11 and 11. That's 22. 22 plus 6 is 28. 28 plus 8 is 36. So we do have an entire booster box worth of stuff. I, for some reason, I, I added up 34 uh, before the video, and I was kind of confused. Boom, man, 
getting some pulls out of this, man. And you guys know me. I love the trainers. The trainers are like my favorite cards. Um, got a couple of them in the mail, actually, just recently. And I will show you guys this because the, the, the buyer or the seller on um, TCG Player, uh, confusing, kind of annoying to deal with because, like, I got that choice helmet and then that Anna Porter on the it, on the background here. I got those two from two separate buyers. They came in absolutely mint. This one came in weakness policy. And I mean, now don't get me wrong, it's they're inexpensive gold cards, but I love old gold trainer cards. And um, this one was sold as near mint. Does that look near mint to you? That's all bent there. Look at this back, near mint, right? So I messaged the guy and I'm like, hey. This came in damaged. What are you going to do? And he's like, do you want a refund or do you want the new another card? And I said, I, will, I want the card. So 10 minutes later, I checked TCG player messages. I got a refund. And the answer was OK or something like that, I think is OK or uh huh, all right. And uh, yeah, they have not I asked like, hey, you gave me the refund. I will gladly pay for another card, but I, I, I want the new card. Oh, my God, guys two bangers back to back iron hands the alternate art or signature illustrator art amazing i'll finish the story in a second but that is something to behold oh my gosh very cool and so iron hands is hariyama right wow that looks great oh my gosh i think this is one of the top pulls i think this is definitely within the top five but man for an electric card this is not nothing about this screams electric Pokemon. Look at it. It's just all silver blue skies. Oh my god. That this is gorgeous. This is a very cool card. This reminds me of um oh man, there's what was it? Corviknight, the one from um Oh my god, what is that one? Astral Radiance, maybe? But then also kind of um Aerodactyl. But anyway, so anyways, back to the story. This guy said uh nothing. I, I've 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 sent him a message almost every day not badgering him just be like hey what's the answer do i need to buy another one from another seller or are you or is that you just gave me the refund and ignored you gave me two options i chose a different option and that's not what you're doing so it's very very frustrating shark cadet crobat and a grudon this etb already already beat out the other one right i mean we got what gimme ghoul we got tulip and iron hands back to back two two packs and two big pulls i'd have to look at where tulip um sits on there but i know those waifu cards uh, tend to be a little bit more valuable but you know i'm also trying to round out my master collection Elekid, vanillish rourke minior simipore mindfu mill tank and an iron jugulus iron julius orange julius whatever the heck that's trying to say orange jugulus i don't know somebody's uh if you guys can comment or something i mean I, i'm sure i'll do the research but if you want to comment and tell me why these pokemon are not called like hariyama why they're called iron hands and Roaring Moon instead of Salamence. Let me know. Hone Edge, Dweeble. Looks like there's something back here. Horsey, maybe. Um, I don't know. I would love to get a gold card out of here. Maybe it's a, uh, a gold card. Hone Edge. Nope, it's not Zashin. Um, these can be misleading because you just can see the edge a little bit. And they're all, there's three holographic cards essentially in each pack, which is great. I know a lot of people are, are poo pooing on the quality of these. I think they're, the quality's definitely gone up. I saw somebody complaining on a, a private uh, Facebook board, like, oh my god, they're all off-center. It's like, well, maybe a few of them are, but it's not going to be perfect, man. It's a factory. It's called quality control, and, you know, sometimes it's it's not always going to be perfect quality. But that's why we have great, because then that would eliminate grading, right? Let's go here. Let's go. Let's go. Joltik. Loudred. Remoraid. Pumpkaboo. Tink a ton. Durant. Earthen Vessel, Pharaoh Seed, let's go with another another pull. Looks like we got something. Boom! Professor Turo's Scenario. So we got another trainer, full art, and boy is it glorious. Not a professor's research. Um, This side looks a little thin, and this is kind of what that... I saw one of these people complaining about this card specifically, saying it was so off-center. But maybe that's how it's supposed to look. I don't know. Maybe not. It does look really nice, though. Very good-looking card. But um, this ETB, Iron Valiant wins i mean it wins right i mean already two full art trainers and one secret illustration rare ex not one of the basic ones it's a it's a nice ex and it's a future and it's a delta species trubbish looking with that rubbish gimme oh i didn't know there was a, a like a basic gimme ghoul wiglet uh, i don't know about that pokemon jirachi love it snorlax love it tinkaton love it kevin durant nimble fly cuckoo and a galissapod 
no gray code cards in the ETBs. I, I'm really curious about this blister. We still got a lot to go. We got a blister. We got eight booster packs. And then we have a booster bundle that has six packs in it. Wait, yeah, so did I? I feel like I I, I did the math wrong again. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to count again Gly score. Unkaboo vanillish. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. These cards, I, I know somebody other people too are kind of poo-pooing these. I keep saying that. That's not so childish, but it's true with this kid-friendly channel. So if kids are watching, you know, you know what I mean. But vanilla right here, that is great. Look at that. There's a lot of human characters on here too. Oh, Pokeball ice cream. Very cool card though. That is great. That is very cool. You know which one I really liked though was the um, Machoke from Pokemon 151. So let me let me do the math again. Two ETBs, 11 and 11. That's 22. 22 plus 8 from the sleeved boosters is 30. 30 plus two three pack blisters is 36. Plus six from the booster bundle is 42. So we got 42. We got more than a, a booster box. That's great. Parasol Lady, Porygon 2, Octillery, Earthen Vessel, Medical Energy, Steeny, Brute Bonnet, Orikorio. 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 I love doing that. Every time I every time I see somebody pulling Orikorio or where I do, I always just think in my head like Really Japanese. Orikorio. Orikorio. Ferro Seed, Gibble, Panpour, Blitzel. Man, and somebody's probably out there gonna be like, oh, you're cultural appropriating, whatever. Slitherwing, Technical Machine Evolution, and Militich. Um, definitely the ETB to beat. That is probably one of the best ETBs I have ever had in my life. That was amazing. All right, well, I tell you what, let's go over to four of these sleeved boosters. We'll do one of each artwork. Which one are we missing there? Salamence. And then we'll save these other four for a little bit later. We'll put those right there. Um, no particular order though, but who knows? Ooh, that opened really easily. A little, a little too easily, a little too wrath. TMNT fans, you might know what that is. A little too wrath. Mackley, Nimble, Yamask, yeah, Defiance Vest. I don't feel like I ever pull that. Durant, that's probably gonna be like a really playable card. Screamtail, Ancient, and then es Esparta, Esparta. Good, good reverses though, right there. I love that scream tail. This guy's crazy. He's just, rah, just screaming everywhere, just running through a field away from Pokemon trainers, just screaming with a tail on his head. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Scream tail. It's the I guess he's got a little, a little nub of a tail. Right? He's got like a little nub back there. But I don't know. Maybe his head's supposed to be the tail. That sucks. Boon sweet. She bass. The he bass. He bass. The he bass. Snorlax, Brute Bonnet again. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Got the one that I really wanted. I really wanted this uh, counter catcher so bad, this gold card. Ooh, first gold card of the Paradox Rift set. Very cool. I love gold trainer cards. I'm telling you, I got that switch back there. I got the Enneporta right there. Very cool. Oh, my gosh. That's a nice card. Very, very good positioning too in this one. Look at that, that blue blue laser going around. It looks pretty sweet. This is a very successful opening. This is, is this better than the booster box? I kind of think so. Maybe? My last booster box though did have the gold, Goldengo or Golden Go, whatever you want to call it. And see these I got to pull out from uh, Beckett Castle TCG uh, randomly. Ooh, and I, I chose well. Uh, this is my second Brute Bonnet, so that's really cool. But I, I did get to choose these at my leisure, so I just kind of chose two here, two there, two here, two there. And they were all, it, it was nice because they were all separated um, by Pokemon pack artwork, which was pretty cool. So, boom, Brute Bonnet. Let's see, can I, what if I got three big hits out of four packs? Because I don't think I got anything out of the first pack, did I? I don't think I did out of the first one. Let's see what Armor Rouge has. And they gotta stop doing Cerulege dirty. They gotta start making some like really cool Cerulege cards. Zubat, Gimme Ghoul, Norman, Ortho Worm, Toad's Cruel, Tinkatuff, Wismer, and Alatios. Ooh, that's, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm just, my eyes deceive me. All right, but we got through the very, the first four sleeved blisters. And we will now move on to the Boost of Bundle. I usually have some pretty good luck out of booster bundles. Um, I think I usually get an SIR 
or secret air secret art rare or alternate art whatever you want to call it but these are nice they're good value uh 25 26 dollars depending on where you go um i bought this on pokemon center this one was pokemon center so that one was 26 like 94 weird price but i i don't remember how much beckett castle tcg was look it up online but i think the prices are better when you go into the place um that's where i got all of those pokeballs for like 850 a piece and i think he did 750 for me which was pretty cool masquerade gibile borbital and a gordon a gordon ramsey all right let's go five more packs out of this booster bundle i gotta separate this bulk stack because it's about to fall over sorry Ugh, off screen doing it with my left hand come on oh my gosh there we go Jeez. all right here we go armor rage armor rouge armor rouge armor rage armor rouge armor rouge larry yeah mask sir skit wismer mine shall rika scream tail vanilla sh Blager. oh my god man we are getting a good variety we are not really doubling up at all we got a roaring moon i know that this one is in high demand just the regular ex is worth like i don't know 20 bucks i think a lot of people are going to be playing with this for that first card uh that first attack frenzied gouging because you can knock out a pokemon with just one hit but it does leave you with only 30 hp um that one's actually going to get a top loader oh just see amari cooper just scored a touchdown i have him on my bench oh well I don't think he's had that great of a season. I think he's hit or miss. Oh, that was a pretty good catch, but I guess that was more of a blown coverage kind of a thing. Oh well. All right, Plusle. God, we, we're getting some good pulls though. Tozel, Toxel or whatever, Zeb Strike, a luxurious cape. Zekrom, Blipug, and a Kingdra. Kingdra, like Wondra, which my girlfriend used in our breakfast this morning. For, uh, what was it called? Biscuits and Gravy. Biscuits and Gravy. Flamigo, My Amigo, Porygon, Magby, Cedra. Professor Seda's Vitality. I think that's the first time I pulled that. Crocolor, Nackley, Galvantula, Altaria EX. Very cool. We have not pulled Altaria yet. I have, what's this do? Humming Heal. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon. Okay, so that would probably be a very good card to have paired with Roaring Moon EX. Like any way that you can heal your um, damage uh, from that card would be great because then you could just keep knocking out Pokemon. I don't know how many Salamence or uh, Roaring Moons you'd want to have in a deck. Probably probably two or three. Elekid. Gonna have to I'm gonna make a deck after this. Nimble, Snorlax Doll again, Tinkaton again, Tutsuguri, Tatsugiri, Octillery, Blitzel. Very cool. Secret illustration, art and a steel licks. Nice. So another one. We are we are pulling some great stuff. This is probably gonna be the best Paradox Rift video um, that I make. I could I, I just have a feeling. And we still got what? Three seven packs after this? Yeah, seven packs. Three three of the blisters. Or three of the uh, sleeved boosters and then uh, a three pack blister pack. Tulip, Dondozo, Chantal, Cedra, Jirachi, Reverse, Ting Lu, Ting 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 Dimalu, Ting 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 Dimalu. All right, let's, so let's go over to the three pack blister. This is the error one. I mean, it's upside down. I don't know how that, how does that even happen? But I don't know. It's not like it's worth it. It's probably worth something. I don't know who would really think it's worth anything just because it's packaged differently. But hey, some people just want the uniqueness. Like I remember a long time ago, Pokemon Center messed up on their ETBs. I think it was, for, I'm pretty sure it was Chilling Rain. Chilling Rain was supposed to have um, like nine or 10 booster packs in it. I think it was 10. And each one shipped with only eight. So then they had to ship out a special edition three pack blister um, to like everybody. And it was just, uh, you got all three birds, legendary birds, um, just like the V cards from that set. And then you got uh, three booster packs of Chilling Rain. Everybody's like, oh my God, they're gonna be so, so much, so worth so much. They're, they're not, I mean, why? Just because it was a mistake and they sent out an extra product and very few people have it, big deal. Spinda, Blitzel, and a Gargan, Garganackle. Garganackle sounds like, it's so weird. Garganackle. Sounds like a, a an adjective for when you're choking on something like oh no it's making a gargan hackle noise 
All right, let's go here. Let's get some big pulls. I palm. Let's finish off this video on a on a on a big note. Tinkaton, Spinda, Mainchu, Volcanion. I think that's the first Volcanion I pulled. I didn't mean a. a, a I did mean a. What did I say? A big note. I mean a, a high note. Garchomp. I almost grabbed the sleeve blisters like that was it. Ooh, this one opened kind of funny. It seemed like it had a lot of air in it, like Lay's potato chips. Uh, my nun, Snow Runt, <laughs> Knackle Stack, <laughs> Cloth. Such a dumb name. Remoraid. Are we gonna get anything out of this blister? No. No, we're not. That's okay though. We got we got some big pulls the rest of the way though. All right, down to the last four blish de packs. I don't remember what order they were in, but I think that this was pretty close. I think it went. I think maybe that was the order. Maybe. Who knows? I'll have to. I'll, I'll notice when I'm editing. These open really easily, really smooth, but we're already at the 30th, 30 minute mark for 42 booster packs. That's pretty quick. It's 42, right? We agreed. 42. Explode. Mela. Slitherwing. Spinda. Snorlax Doll Reverse. And a Morpeko Reverse Holographic. Very cool. Down to the last three booster packs. What an opening this was. I feel like it didn't take much longer than my usual videos, uh, but we got some great pulls out of this, that Iron Hands in the back. We will do a recap after this, but um, make sure you go look at the one that I released previously to this. Um, ooh, we got the Reverse Counter Catcher too, and we got the Gold Counter, counter Catcher. I already forgot about that. But make sure you go back and look at my old videos because I did release a Paradox Rift one before this weekly Wednesday one uh, came out. I released it on... Sunday, November 5th, November 5th, boy was that day kind of screwed up too because I had no idea the clocks went back, uh, Pharaoh Seed, Evil Tool, that's my second Evil Tool, and a Zatu, so that's the second Evil Tool illustration rare that I have pulled, very nice card, I don't think it looks that great if I'm being honest, but people like it, um, not the best, and then we're down to the very, what? There's like water on that. That's weird. I don't know where there's water up here. Um, anyways, we're down to a very last booster pack. Roaring Moon. Uh, or Sal I'm gonna call it Salamence. Salamence. But thank you guys for watching. Let's see if we get anything big out of this. What if we got another Goldengo, Golden Go, whatever you want to call it. Pansier, Wiglet, Gligar, Absol, Simisage, get some out here. Norman, Gliscor, Ugh, Wuchin. Nothing. Volcanion. Uh, we'll do a quick recap of these. And that was weird that we had the... I don't think we got the gray uh, code cards on the last uh, three-pack blister. But let's see. What did we get going from the first to the last? Garchomp EX, which was cool. Galissapod EX, very nice. Oh, yeah. Arctic Vax. This is all kind of a surprise to me again. Uh, Mewtwo EX. Oh, yeah. The Agislash EX. Full art. Very nice. We got the Tulip Full Art Trainer. Very nice. I think the trainers, they could have done a little bit better. They don't look as flashy as they should. Professor Turo Scenario, which that one deserves a top loader. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place, but I'm an idiot. Just wasting time. People are tuning out right here. Uh, what else do we got here? Jeez. 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 Uh, we got the Vanillish. Uh, secret illustrator art we have the counter catcher gold which was very cool brute bonnet oh yeah the full art roaring moon ex uh evil toll citatan blitzel a secret illustration art alteria ex we got the gimme ghoul back here and we got the iron hands probably the the two cards i wanted more than most of the others but thank you guys very much for tuning in like subscribe comment share Make sure you guys tune in next week. See you later. Bye.